I'm going to give you a first look of the highly anticipated Anvil Carrick, and we're starting right now. Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Welcome to a Star Citizen's first look. What's up, citizens? This is Subliminal here, and today I have returned to give you a tour of the Anvil Carrick. Alpha 3.8.2 has been released to the PTU, and with it comes a new highly anticipated Anvil exploration ship. In this first look, we'll take a tour of the interior of this massive ship. There are tons of rooms, so grab some chips and a drink and enjoy some music from Star Citizen's composer Pedro Camacho while I show you around. This video is a first look. Stay tuned for my full review of the Carrick at a later date with more in-depth and accurate information. With that out of the way, let's take a first look at the Anvil Carrick. The Carrick has one entrance at the bow, through what can only be described as the garage door. To our left is a control module that opens and closes the door. The garage is big enough to fit an Ursa Rover or smaller land vehicles. Sadly, the Anvil Ballista won't fit. To the right, there is a button that opens and closes the stopping ramp. To the left, there is a ladder that will take you to the technical deck. We'll head back to see more of the sub deck. To our right is the docking collar. Here we have four escape pods and the airlock. Across the hall there is a secondary elevator that can take us to the HAB and tech decks. Let's head down the cargo bay catwalk. There are three cargo bays, each one has a small lift that will bring you down to the base of the cargo pod. These pods are rumored to be detachable in the future. Let's head back up to the catwalk and through pods 2 and 3. Straight ahead we have the main elevator. To our left there are three escape pods and a large weapon locker. Continuing down the starboard hallway, we'll enter into a room with access to the aft turret. This turret comes equipped with two M6A laser autocannons. Continuing down the port side hallway, we have another set of escape pods and another weapon locker. Let's go up to the next level. This level is called the Habitation Deck. Let's take the port side corridor. To our right is a door to the service ladder, but it is currently bugged. It would give you access to the sub and tech decks. This is the med bay that features a pretty cool decontamination chamber. Straight ahead, there is a room with what looks like an MRI machine and other medical stuff. This medical pod can be designated as your preferred ICU. This will allow you to respawn here after death. The med bay has two nearby patient beds. These will allow you to log out if you would like to log back in here at a later time. The port side room is a storage room filled with medical stuff. The starboard side room is a doctor's office with more medical stuff. Leaving the med bay, there is an elevator to our right that can take us up to the tech deck or down to the sub deck. Further down the hall are the crew quarters. The crew quarters common area features a pool table. To the right, there is a restroom with two latrines. To the left, you have the barracks. The barracks have five total storage lockers, five beds, and a couch. Past the barracks, there's a bathroom with two showers and bathroom stuff. Across the corridor is the mess hall. Moving further down the hall, we have the captain's dorm. In there, there are two retractable screens and a desk 
with captain stuff. To our left, we have a room with a bed and a storage locker. The captain's bathroom has a shower and a head. Heading back to the hallway to our left is the bridge. This elevator leads to the upper bridge that we'll visit later. In the middle of this room, we have access to avionics. On each side, there are four AI server blades that will become operational in the future, and two access points. If you know what these are, let me know in the comments. On the port side, we have the first co-pilot seat with two MFDs. The starboard side co-pilot seat is identical. The pilot seat has five MFDs and a radar. This is where the radar component will be placed. Let's head to the main elevator. We'll go to the technical deck. Behind us, we have a hall with access to the starboard side turret. The port and starboard turrets have two Rhino laser repeaters each. Heading back to the hall, we have a room with an engine control unit. Leaving here and entering into the port side hall, we have access to the port side turret that is identical to the starboard side turret. Back near the aft of the ship is engineering. This lift will take you down to the lower engineering. Behind us, we have more engine control modules and the jump drive component. We'll use this ladder to head down to lower engineering. Here we have the power plant. Behind us, we have two shield generators, life support, and a radar component access. To our right, we have rooms with access to coolers, as well as access to the fuel tank. We'll go back to the upper engineering and down to the starboard side hall. Here we can enter into the hangar bay. The hangar is big enough to fit any ship equal or smaller to the Anvil Pisces. Heading back down the hall is the service ladder access we couldn't see on the HAB deck. To the right is a lift that can take you down to the HAB and the sub decks. This is the drone room. The two seats on either side killed me last time, so we're going to stay away from those. Across the hall on the port side is a repair room. I anticipate this is where components can be repaired. Further down the hall, we have six escape pods for the bridge crew. Through this door is the upper bridge we spoke about earlier. This lift will take you down to the lower bridge, of course. On the left and right, we have two support seats. Each support seat has three MFDs.
They also have access to a remote turret on top of the carrot. This has some sort of exploration station that shows proof the CIG has some sort of concept of a compass with bearings. Toward the bow, we have a command station. This can be used to fly the carrot. However, the lower bridge has priority. Let's head back towards the main elevator. On the way, you'll see the terminal that controls the hangar bay doors. Let's head up to the fourth and final deck. This is the cartography deck. Straight ahead, there's an MFD that is a placeholder for where I guess we'll be able to chart the galaxy. This door leads to a hall with escape pods and an airlock. This EVA door will take you outside to the deck. The starboard hall also has escape pods. Well, that's it. Please stay tuned for my full review of the carrot while we'll cover it more in depth. What are your thoughts on the new carrot? Does it live up to the long awaited hype? Let me know down in the comments. Did you like this first look? Like it. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe by clicking the circle here. Here's a video I think you would like to watch. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like. And if you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel further, you can click the join button below this video or check the description for even more ways to do so. However, your viewership is more than enough. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.